Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Richard, and welcome back to another weekly watches video sponsored by MarketSmith. Uh, today, we're going to go through a bunch of stocks that I'm watching pretty closely um, that are pretty much holding up better than most stocks in the market, given the overall market conditions. And actually, before we even get into the names, I do just want to bring up uh, the QQQ, um, if I can actually type it in the chat here, and just re-emphasize that we are in a downtrend below all the key moving averages. We're in a bear market. It's not time to be putting on um, you know, 200% margin. Uh, it's time to be very selective, pick your spots if you are trading at all, and just making sure you're managing risk and overall exposure very, very tightly. So uh, for the most part, I'm using this list as basically a gauge of market health. If a lot of these setups, you know, act well next week, that's feedback that the market could be improving under the surface. Uh, but right now we just are pretty negative, just barely undercutting these prior lows. So with that said, Let's move on to uh, the overall list. And I've got some solar names on here, uh, biotech, healthcare, um, some um, uh, energy names as well. Those have had a resurgence. And let's go ahead and dive right in with the first one, FSLR. So taking a look at this chart, the first thing I see is just raw power here. Beautiful breakout on volume. A lot of up volume days as well. To the downside, there's not much volume either. And it's holding up really nicely above its 21 EMA, um, especially considering what the market is doing. The relative strength line is just moving higher. Relative strength rating is a 99. Uh, but if it does lose these lows, it could easily visit that 120 mark, which lines up with uh, you know, this prior consolidation as well as the 50 SMA. And also that's hidden right now, but this prior high as well. So uh, definitely holding up super strong. And if the market was super healthy, um, I'd be looking for a breakout through these levels. Uh, but right now, uh, just want to watch, um, especially in that solar space. Uh, moving on, we've got MRSRN. Um, basically, nice breakout on volume. Um, it's undercut this HVC by be watching for a breakout back through this as well as the 50 SMA. And uh, overall is just coming off the bottom here. Uh, not necessarily a play I take in a strong bull market, uh, but one to watch, especially considering biotech in general has been acting stronger. Uh, VRTX, uh, kind of bigger cap uh, biotech here that's holding up well above the 50 SMA. Uh, you've got this pivot at 296.14, uh, but I definitely don't want to see it undercut the 50 SMA. That would just signify that it needs more time and more basing. Uh, but I love the relative strength rating um, moving significantly higher. Overall, RS rating is a 96. And you can see that basically the relative strength line is leading price, meaning that it's into new high ground when relatively you can see that price is not um, at this spot. Uh, price is here, relative strength rating is here. And even though it hasn't broken out into an all-time highs, RS line is significantly higher um, and forging new highs as well. So definitely a name to watch um, and more liquid as well, which is always a plus. And you've got good sponsorship as well. Moving on, we've got RITM, a kind of smaller cap name that has a lot of power. Uh, this is great for, you know, a one day move, a two day move, but given the overall environment, that's pretty much all you're going to get. Um, and right now it's pushed up back through the 21 EMA, um, is right at that 25 level. I'd love to see kind of an inside day, then maybe an inside day and up setup, uh, but definitely take your profits when you have them. That's basically the type of environment we're in. Uh, but I do like to see it holding these kind of consolidation lows as well as that 50 SMA. But looking at this, we could also have a type of kind of head and shoulders pattern here. So uh, if it does kind of break down from here, that's something to be aware of as well. Uh, moving on, we've got ENPH, definitely weaker than FSLR. You can see it's in kind of a short term down cycle uh, below that 50 SMA and testing these lows. Uh, could be a short at this level. Uh, the ideal spot would be against the 21 EMA here, uh, but definitely could have some juice. Uh, back down to 250 if we do break these levels. INSW, super strong trend above the 21 EMA. Not much to say here. Uh, very short-term consolidation. You could buy it through this pivot, but definitely just kind of looking for day trade type moves here because we are significantly extended. STNG, these type of names have been super strong here. Uh, back above the 50 SMA and uh, nice compression here, upside reversal here. Um, I'd love to see maybe one more contraction for it to build out a little bit more, buy it through that pivot, uh, but you could easily buy it through this spot right here. Next up, we've got NBIX, which has broken through this kind of short-term pivot, retaking that 50 SMA, which is a, definitely a good sign. Uh, this has shown kind of power in the past, and it's kind of got that uh, basketball underwater feel a little bit. Uh, so definitely a name to watch if it manages to push through these levels. Uh, but, you know, the ideal spot to buy if you're looking to buy uh, was this past Friday. So I'd love to see some short-term consolidation, then a kind of um, resumption to the upside, breaking through that higher low setup and managing risk right at these lows. Um, SRPT um, is a similar looking name to RYTM, super strong here off the bottom um, and a little bit wide and loose here. So I'd love to see some type of contraction. Um, I like how it's holding 50 SMA as well as that kind of 
105 area. Uh, not exactly, of course, but it's good to see some support around that um, that level. And um, overall, just needs to tighten up and form another setup. Um, REGN, earnings gap up, then consolidation, a classic type of setup here, uh, forming a little bit of a flag here. I definitely don't want to see it kind of undercut these levels, uh, which is these lows as well as the 21 EMA. That could indicate that just needs a lot more time um, and could fill this gap right here. Uh, PRTA, another earnings gapper that just needs time to consolidate. I love to see um, basically a volatility contraction here, forming a higher low and then a resumption to the upside through these highs. That could be a super powerful setup, um, a great volume coming in on this earnings gap up. Moving on, we've got BTU, Peabody Energy Corp, uh, pushing and retaking that 50 SMA. I love to see maybe an inside day, and then you could buy this spot right here. Um, but if it does break these lows, we could easily retest that 50 SMA or even that 200 SMA in quite a hurry. But it's nice to see relative strength line um, kind of leading a little bit and breaking out just a tad from this trend line. Uh, moving on, we've got DEN also super powerful here on nice volume, but I want to see contraction um, before I would really do anything here. This is just kind of an unsustainable move, um, but definitely a name to watch and have on your radar. Really great earnings and sales and estimates as well from DEN. Uh, BSM, kind of smaller cap name, not really liquid at all, so keep that in mind, uh, but it's a nice pattern, volatility contraction, maybe one more inside day, uh, but you've got a pivot right above 16, uh, but you definitely don't want to see it undercut that 50 SMA. HLIT, definitely not actionable anytime soon, but I thought I'd highlight this really nice breakout through that kind of 12 spot here, super strong on volume, and I love to see it kind of tighten here and then resume to the upside. Uh, CEG also short term extended and in the short term down cycle here, uh, but you could short it through this level or if it just kind of bases out, this could be one to watch once the market finally turns around. Uh, DGII, another one that had a super powerful move, a little bit wider and loose, so I'd love to see a contraction here and then a resumption to the upside. Moving on to Swab, you can see it retook that 50 SMA nicely, but we didn't have a great close on this Friday. And uh, like the other one, this is a little bit unsustainable. So I'd love to see some consolidation here, tightening up above that 50 SMA and then a resumption to the upside here. Uh, but if it loses that 50 SMA, uh, it could easily fall right back to 250. Uh, lastly, I believe this is CELH, short term down cycle. And you definitely don't want to see it undercut this trend line. This could be a nice spot to short versus this Friday's high uh, or below a declining 21 EMA and it could easily fall basically back to that 72 area, which lines up with this level, as well as the 200 SMA. Uh, so lastly, actually, we've got Posh, nice breakout on Friday, um, especially considering what the market was doing, and just another name to have on your radar that's coming off the bottom. Uh, so that's pretty much it for uh, this quick video. Let me know your thoughts on these stocks or the any that I missed that are worth mentioning. Uh, let me know down below in the comment section. If you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and take the time right now to leave me a like down below and subscribe if you haven't yet, and we'll see more videos just like this one every single week. All right, with that, thanks again for taking the time and watching this, and uh, have a great rest of your weekend, and best of luck next week. Take care.